plates. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is Mary's Vineyard, actually. And if you look at this um, McDonald's right here, okay, we, there's been reports. I've seen one with my own eyes that two cars have flipped over right there, and they flip over in the um, drive through And then, like, Caltrans replaced all the bushes and everything the next day, and, like, all Pentagon style. Eminem. Uh, Eminem. <laughs> McDonald's just um, had that whole section reinforced. Okay, so we're getting on 198, so that's angel number nine. We know 198 is angel number nine. Oh, oops, sorry. It's like, okay, here we go. And we're gonna come up on. I'm gonna roll my window up because it is noisy. So you see that Lover's Lane is exit um, 108, and it's number 216. So you've got nine and nine again, and you got the 108 is the number of square inch park number three. tell them Lover's Lane or they ask like where you live and you say Lover's Lane because I used to live right here and I live off Lover's Lane. Um, they'll go, what? Lover's Lane? You have a, a road called Lover's Lane? So you know, you know, it's kind of, not everybody has a street called Lover's Lane, right? And there's, seven, there's a 7-Eleven that was flashing the night that the power went out and it also is one of the pillar sites that protracts the beam for the dome or the pyramid. They say it's a dome, but super dome! Remember Beyonce? And if you look at the intro of that movie, that show, Under the Dome, it's actually it's exactly like the stills for um, the Super Bowl halftime show. So here we go. Passing Mineral King. Mineral King. And this is where it says Tree City. I'm going to slow down real slow. Tree City, 26 years. 2-6. Tree City, USA. National Arbor Day Trust. And here are all the churches here. All the big giant churches are right here. We just passed them. The giant Kingdom Hall, Jehovah's Witness Church is there. The uh, Mormon Church is right here. A giant Mormon Church. And then Grace Community and Christian Church. So there's like three giant major branches of the uh, Christian Church sect. had called me and told me they were using the site on that day, which means they are crucifying Messiah seeds. Okay? Because the site that we're going to go to, though it is a holy site and it is, you know, for the gods, for those who use it uh, don't have the DNA to use it, so they do some other weird stuff. So here's where all the glitter was left, and that's where I saw them doing it. And um, it says 216 that way, Ivanhoe. Nine, that way, Ivanhoe. That is also where Avocado Hill is. So I think the dome is primarily going to be covering um, a small portion of Visalia and uh, a, a large portion of Ivanhoe um, that is full of fertile San Joaquin Valley, which is the most fertile soil in the world. In the world. And if you watch Under the Dome, you will see in Under the Dome that it says that it has the best soil and that they're like three hours from Los Angeles and they're up on their way to the mountains to... Um, take a girl to rehab, right? A troubled teen with red hair. The House of Solomon, House of David, Rutten Red. And then um, also it shows basically like the water tower, the Redwood Water Tower and everything. And in the post office there's another um, red lion that says controlled power and it shows these two pillar sites. So there's another station there and then we had to go to Dineva to get cash. So when we went to Dineva we passed another one of these stations that was on fire that the police were all out there. They had flares all the way around and everything. Okay, so we also see that all the way, even though it dead ends right here, you see speed limit 4-5. Speed limit 4-5. And if you check out my, um, I'm going to do a video about Mary Magdalene.
cross is cross, K R A apostrophe A S T, the cross. But in the glyph, it's K R S T, which also looks awful lot like cursed. So she's here to undo and release the cursed children, the angels that are here. They obviously don't want her to do that because they want these angelic bodies. So we're now on St. John's Parkway, which is not on my maps. They removed it from the maps that I bought at 7 Eleven. Um, so we're on St. John the Baptist and St. John the Evangelist Parkway. Okay, so make sure you get these um, street lamps. Okay, I want you to pay attention to the street lamps. I'm going to start the Mazda. So right here, we got a cement street lamp with the shape of a dove at the top, the Mazda. I'm going to let the car behind me go and the sun is blazing. Okay, so we're going to pull over and let this car go. And then, oh, this is the perfect spot to get a look. Okay, so you have the Mazda. Mazda, which is the dove. I should just call I can't, it the dove. I can't get it. Okay, so, and then there's two wooden crosses and a dove, which also stands for the aunt, the Holy Spirit, the Father. Wooden cross, wooden cross. Let's go again, oopsie. So here it starts again. So we've got, one of these just shot out of ground the other day, the, uh, um, the dove, wooden cross. So why, how come they're not all the same? Right, right, right? Wooden cross. And then there was one right here, but it shot out of the ground. Gone. They kill 39-year-olds. The crosses are the females. The um, cement birds are the males. We've got another one here, a cross, and then a dove. And then what you'll notice is 30 is the number for Mary Magdalene. It's also the number of coins Judas was paid to give up Jesus. So 30, and 30 is the number for Mary Magdalene. There were signs all back there. I didn't get them. There's a 30, and then they had an arrow up. 30, and then an arrow up. So we're going again. We've got cross, cross. Now we've got crosses. Crosses, because this is a crucifixion sign. Crosses. We've got 45 mile speed limit again. Coming up to a stop, stop, stop light. Then it turns into 35, I think, on the other side. But here we go again. Crosses. So we're turning this, we're going to go down Ben Max, we're going to the bridge. Stargate sign and the five petaled roses of Mary Magdalene are out front. These are the five petaled roses of Mary Magdalene still in bloom. And the Stargate sign is right here. So St. John's River Walk has a Stargate sign and the S is for set. Visalia is with the W, Visalia, Wahelia, which is an ancient Ossetian city. Notice all of these pillars coming in are all wooden. Every single one of these wooden pillars is just wooden. They're just normal cables, you know, just wooden pillars. And the white dove has arrived. Okay. Stop. We're gonna go check this out right here. Now this is the same sign we saw on the way here that said 26 years, right? But here it says 30. I left it at home. I need to get a better, uh, your fingers in the way of the lens. <laughs> That's gonna be messed yeah. up. Sorry. I don't think it'll let me flip it around after I'm already oh. taping. Okay. Sorry, guys. Here we go. You know, it used to let me flip it around. I swear. I think iPhone. They got into my thing and they messed it up on me. Okay. So here's the little swirly things. Here's one of them right here. It has a tree in the center. And it has a stone right here that says Dionysus. Wild grapes. Now, I am fairly convinced that this, the actual switch for this is inside of this grape container that has the orange thing in there. Because it used to be out here, and I'm pretty sure they can hear us because sometimes the police will show up when I'm here. And there's cats that live in there. And there's um, something that looks like a manhole right here. And we know that there's taverns and caves that they use, and there's another one. <clears throat> and it says Tauros. Genoa's a sprinkler company, but this is an old plant, like I said. And there's a power grid box there. But the site in Washington, D.C. has this little box right here, and it shows um, uh, a key. And then, of course, there's a water pump, and then the grape leaves, so yeah, that's pretty obvious. So here's the spiral sign. And I've come here where this has been wet, where they have poured water in here and done things to it, so I don't know what they do, but this is it. There's the teardrop, the center that goes around. I'm gonna get a close up so you can pause if you want to of the Hagar story. That's the two that walk. 
See where it shows to dig? You're actually seeing the two pillar pieces, the circle right here that's like the dirt. This is a shovel. See the staff device? That's the staff device. Okay. And she's sitting on the stool. That's the stool. These are all of the Ark of the Covenant devices where she's showing. See? History of Isolia, Native American Indians, Pleiadians. The Native American Indians were many different kinds, but they also had, or the Pleiadians, I mean, they also had the red, the Native Americans. Here's another one that says California Sycamore. And they all have little notes on them. They go, see, it goes around the keyhole. See the keyhole? It goes around the keyhole, and it would have, the arc would then go here to the electrical arc. See? Interior live oak. And here's the quarry cuts. Stonehenge quarry cuts. Nice. People run around this site on designated days where they power the site. It's always thunder and lightning. See the they've got water systems that run all over there. Expansive water systems because this is the Illuminati Hydra Brotherhood. <laughs> so everything is angel number nine, Mary Magdalene um, and angel number nine with this horse of God. Oregon Ash, your burnt offering. Very descriptive details in Exodus on how to use the Ark of the Covenant device if you do not contain the rod and staff within your blood. Red, very important, red. Check your Zephyroth. Pause if you like. There we go. Check your Zephyroth. They match. Okay, then we're continuing. And the little Kundalini paths are inside of this little forest area, which is really beautiful. And we got Valley Ash again. Let me, I don't know if there's anything you know about this. You can check it out. Pause it if you want. And we're continuing. This is a long walk. It's like a two mile thing to go around, so it's big, you know. Okay, so this is Western Rosebud. Okay. Rose. Gosh. And this is like, from what I understand, of all everything that I've, that I've read about, is that there's like a cave, like a tavern underneath this hill. 